diesel prices are rising, aren't they? Are you seeing it where you're at too? Tell me where you're at. What's the price of diesel where you're at? Make sure to include if that price is for gallons or liters. I just want to point out that on my ride into work, the construction that has been here all winter has been completed. And most, oh wait, there's some more up here yet. Well, they've removed almost all of the one lane traffic here and that traffic is moving smoothly on that side now. Thank God. And on schedule, I am very impressed. Good job. Now I gotta admit, those, those new Volvos are pretty nice. They're comfortable, we'll say that. I'm more of a Kenworth Peterbilt guy myself, but these Volvos are nice for on the highway. It's like a little mini motel room. Actually pretty nice. This is sort of more my style. But, depends how important comfort is to you, right? We got options here. Time to get her started up and uh, ready to go. I fueled her up last week. Uh, I believe I filmed that, right? We put about a thousand dollars in there again. Uh, 800 and some liters. The price of diesel here, last I checked when I filled up last week, was $1.30 per liter. So uh, it, around this area, it's, it's sort of stayed around there, that level for the last several months. Uh, my topic of discussion for today's video with the rising diesel prices comes from Transportation Nation Network. Uh, they posted an article about the rising diesel prices in the U.S that overall it's gone up uh, in some areas over a dollar per gallon in just the last couple of months. So it's been a big jump for them down there. Uh, that's why I ask, what's diesel prices like where you are? Uh, let me know where that is in the world. And has it been steadily rising? Has it sort of been plateaued for a while? Has it been spiking up or has it actually gone down? I sort of want to see how things are around the world. Okie dokie. To the north. Up Highway 6. We're already on the west side of Winnipeg here right now. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Winnipeg is the capital of, pro of the province of Manitoba in Canada. It's located straight north of I-29. Uh, so we're just north of western North Dakota and eastern Minnesota. We're about, uh, let's say about 100 and, uh, 120 miles, 150 miles north of the border. And we're gonna head further north into Canada from here. And a lot of you have been requesting the joke of the day to return. Those of you who have been requesting that have been watching my channel for a very long time because way back in the day, probably like seven, eight years ago, I used to do a joke of the day. I got a couple for you today, okay? Maybe we'll start bringing this back. I got a joke for you right here. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. <coughs> Did you hear about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. <laughs> Where are average things manufactured? at the satisfactory. <laughs> How do you drown a hipster? Throw him in the mainstream. <laughs> okay, these are bad. These are bad. <laughs> back on the road, back on the road again. I have an empty box behind me now. Oh, I'm feeling light as a feather. I actually had to offload the entire trailer or tailgate it is what it's called. Uh, I'm responsible for the freight until it gets off the trailer. So uh, it's my job to bring the freight to the back of the trailer. Uh, so it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. We got a good workout out of it though. Got a good sweat in. Uh, and now that's all over. I can't film while I'm there. So uh, I'll tell you all about it. We unloaded the trailer. I got all sweaty and worked up. Now I'm going back this way. There you go. You're all filled in. So tell me honestly, what do you think of my jokes? What do you think of my jokes? I'm still kind of chuckling to myself. I love a good dad joke. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for more. Tune in tomorrow for more.
All right, I'm on my way back to the yard right now. We're gonna uh, uh, park this truck, get in the pickup, go home. I have my assignment for tomorrow already. I'm going up to Arbor to pick up some freight going down to the US of A. And don't worry, we're gonna get some more dad jokes ready and lined up for you. Don't worry. in my Silverado. Yeah. All right, all right, I'm excited. Let's go home. Let's go to bed so we can do it all over again tomorrow. Except tomorrow we're going to Arbor. Should be fun, I gotta be there bright and early, so. We're gonna be trucking before the sun comes up. You have a good day, Diesel. Chevy. You have a good day. You guys missed the rock star welcome today. Britt made a very, very special supper today. She said she got a little carried away. Got a little ambitious. So what is it? I took a recipe off Pinterest and tweaked it and made it my own. Added a lot of extras. It's like a chicken potato ranch casserole. I just added extra veggies and stuff. We'll call it the Brittany. Or chicken and potato ranch casserole. Or that, for short. <laughs> for short. <laughs> yeah, see oh, how it is. Look good. Yeah, see let's, how it is. Get, get yourself a plateful. This you made your, it, so you this get is to. Your plate, so. Oh, you're gonna serve me first. You make dinner and serve me first. Okay, it's a little bit watery. At what the a bottom. woman! Probably from the broccoli. That's okay, okay. though. Okay. That means that the leftovers won't dry out, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Oh, this looks so good. Is there uh, crackers in here too? Yeah. Like the other one? Oh, okay. Yeah. This one has potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Looks All delicious. Right. Let's try it out. Mm. 